Hello and welcome to part two of my EDC slash survival building kit uh, utility, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I just set up this uh, really slim first aid kit. So first off, we're going to take the measurements. This is 11 and a half by eight and a half by two and a half centimeters. And I strapped it with a few rubber bands to keep it together and to keep it hopefully watertight. And I put around some duct tape so that it really closes up. And I put a small lanyard to give it an extra support to find it faster in your back and to also release all the duct tape around. And this is what we are going to do now. So I'm going to show you how I think this might work and how quickly you can deploy it in an emergency situation. So start your timers. And we are ready to use in 10 seconds. Okay, stop your timers. And then we'll take a look at the contents. So first off, we have some self sticking uh, tissue material kind of stuff. I don't know how you call this in English, but if anyone knows, please let me know. And then we have a compress that's two by five centimeters. Always good to have if you have a little wound or some deeper cut, that's really helpful. Set that aside and there you go. Uh, in Germany, you call this a Mullbinder. And yes, yeah, kind of uh, some cotton to, to wrap up and compress the wound. So also really helpful. This is the white version and this is the narrow version. So you have a lot of stuff to work with, enough material, hopefully. And let's get this to size. Then, of course, you have some alcohol swap here. So you can really um, keep clean the wounds and disinfect. That's always good to have. And this makes also very good for a nice improvised tinder. Burns like hell. I just tested this before shooting this video. So really good, but I don't want to waste more of them because I only have three of these left. So set these aside. And then we have two and then I had to work had to look up a word and I have two big plasters, right? Sorry about that. My SD card was full apparently and I didn't notice. So I'm just going to repeat this for the third time. Probably I've got two bigger plasters and then I've got two smaller plasters and right on the bottom, I've got a bigger plaster. So all kinds of wounds can be served with this. And then from the outside, You've got your leftover duct tape, which you can use independently or, of course, in, uh, com in, in combination with this compress. It's, of course, not the cleanest thing you could do, but uh, in a survival situation, you've got to do what you got to do. So this will hold up well. And we got some additional stuff put in here. So we've got two safety pins, which could come in handy. You could also get an improvised fishing utility from it or uh, yeah, something like this. Okay, set that aside. Then we've got some lip balm, which you can use to improvise tinder or to uh, use to cure some blisters. Obviously, you can, you can protect your lips with it. And the interesting thing about this is actually You've got a sun blocker integrated. So this is a rating of 20. And uh, if you've got something exposed because your gear or your closing is not covering this up and you're in a really, really hot area uh, where the sun burns down on you, you could cover up uh, the, the skin with this and have all good protection. Okay, and then we've got some little tweezers also can be helpful if you got a wood snatch or whatever you can get this out of your hands feet wherever you have it always a good thing to have and this really doesn't take all too much space 
And yeah, this is the uh, container we've got all this in. Got two more items left. I've got a really, really tiny knife, two-handed opening folding knife. And this is a real, real sharp knife. So you can cut compresses with, it, with this or whatever. And this is of course also for a backup knife. I have a really big folding knife for your primary knife. And this is my backup knife. So always a good option. And then I've got a lighter. Every good survival kit should have a lighter. So we've got this, have an adjustable flame. And also on the bottom, you can refill it and you have an integrated uh, LED flashlight. So that's also very nice. And I've covered up this with about, I don't know, 15 to 20 layers of duct tape. So you've got some additional stuff to work with. It's always good to have more material than you will probably need. And then from the outside of the case, of course, we have these four rubber bands left over, which we could also use. <clears throat> and as mentioned before, to get a quick open on this, I integrated a short paracord lanyard. So you could unwrap this and this is about 40, maybe 35 centimeters of paracord. So that's also going to work for you, especially if you have some, I don't know, broken bone and you really need to stabilize it, get two sticks tied together with the paracord. And yeah, you're not good to go, but uh, you can at least walk on and survive. Okay, uh, I'm going to put this back together and then this also goes into my EDC kit. And once I completed my EDC bag, I'm going to make a complete review and probably link this video to it so I don't have to disassemble the whole thing a second time. Okay, I just want to let you know this casing here I found on a local supermarket. This cost me one euro and in the original setting it had like 36 plasters in it. But only plasters is not enough. So <laughs> think about it of what you really, really need. Put it all together, make it, if you can, watertight. That's always a good option. And wrap some materials around it that you can reuse, like duct tape. If you would roll this up or distangle it and then roll it up, you could also reuse it and have some more resources to survive. Okay, uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Like always, thanks for watching and bye-bye.